everybody, my name is Dapper Saint, and I need your help with something. I'll probably have some video and some music to go along with this, but I just want to make a quick video telling you my kind of circumstance and the issues I'm having right now. Uh, as it stands, I am having troubles with making videos. This isn't because of inspiration. I love making videos, and I love the editing aspect of it. But something is stopping me from being able to make videos, and that's my graphics card. By no means is it power issues, as you've probably seen with Half-Life Alex. I can run that at ultra settings on the highest like uh, quality possible with recording going on in the background at 100 frames per second. So power is an issue, but the 5700 XT itself has a lot of issues with it, and I'm trying to get them fixed, and I don't know what to do at this point. So I'm kind of looking for advice from both my audience and maybe some random people online. Maybe somebody can help me with this. If you're not familiar with the 5700 XT, it has black screen issues of death. These black screen issues pretty much make it so your computer shuts down anytime you play certain games. And despite the updates that have happened lately, I'm still having a ton of issues with this. An example of this is Terraria, a game that I've been wanting to play recently, and I actually tried recording this. Pretty much, I wanted to record an hour of this game and I wanted to show it to you guys, maybe have some funny highlights of it, so an hour condensed down to 10 minutes of just some funny stuff going on. Because Journey's End, an update for it has came out, and I thought it'd be super fun because I love Terraria. And you know, always an excuse to make content for you guys. However, I got into recording it, and about 15 minutes into the recording, my computer black screened to death. This black screen pretty much destroyed the whole recording session. Um, to give you an idea, I do MKV recordings because they work off the fact that, like, let's say my recording software overloads, I still keep the video up to that moment where it overloaded. Black screen issues do not go under that idea. Pretty much the video itself was two minutes long, I couldn't edit it at all, if I threw it into an encoder it didn't understand what it was, the audio tracks didn't work because I have to encode it and everything properly to hear the secondary audio tracks because I've learned how to do audio tracks and I'm really proud of myself. But pretty much it was completely useless information and I wasted an hour of my time. And this isn't the first time this has happened. I've had encoding issues with a lot of games. Or not encoding, uh, black screen issues with a lot of games. This is just a single example. Payday 2 is another game I've wanted to play on this, like on this because it's VR compatible. And it's super fun, ton of ideas for it, can't do it. Fallout 76, I wanted to play, couldn't do it. Fallout 4, also have black screen issues. And that pretty much is issues with about half of the games I have on Steam. This becomes a dilemma because even if I could record a video and everything, there's always a chance that I would lose content and progress in the actual recording later on in the playthrough. So for instance, let's say I'm playing Terraria and I get into like the third episode, oh, we beat Skeletron, suddenly black screen. All the video recording of that is gone, I can't replay that battle, and you don't get to see it, nor do I get to have the fun of editing it. So it becomes a very big issue where there isn't much I can do about recording and editing certain stuff. And as far as my other ideas when it comes to making videos, they're kind of being stunted due to how the pandemic is going on right now. Um, uh, there's a lot of other things I want to do, such as skits, but I can't do skits because of social distancing. Other series like Nostalgic Nugget, Every Time I Die, and WTF Fridays, I want to do, but I don't have a camera. And due to the fact that everything being out of stock, and anything that is in stock being overinflated price-wise, it's kind of forcing me down this road where I can't do much right now. So the only thing I can do is mostly VR stuff and other video games that don't really require to being under those certain series I want to do. But even if I could do those series, there's always a chance of black screens of death. I've tried everything. I've even replaced the 5700 XT to a 5700 uh, like XT thick, which is an aftermarket version, and still having the issues with this. It is n by no means anything else to do with my computer, and every kind of issue I'm having comes down to the graphics card. I am severely disappointed as I've never used an AMD graphics card before in the past, and this is my first time, and it really goes to show that Nvidia doesn't have much competition, and that quite, and like frankly, annoys me as I had a computer before this computer for seven years, both being NVIDIA graphics card, I had one blue screen throughout my whole time of this. I've had these issues ever since November with this graphics card when I first got it. Even to the point where I couldn't make video or like play games for over a month because I had to replace it and stuff. And you know, I had to send it off to get the other one. 
And this isn't the fault of the people I got the graphics card from. This is just an actual issue with the AMD graphics card itself, which can be seen in both forum posts, uh, news wires even, and even the release notes of the updates for the graphics card, they talk about the black screens of death. So this is a very apparent issue that hasn't been solved all the way. And that's quite annoying for me because it gets in the way. Fun fact, I tried wanting to get into YouTube back in November. That didn't work. Look how far it's taken me to be able to get into YouTube as my recent videos was making like, what, March? So that says a lot about this issue. But anyways, the reason I'm here talking to you guys is if you have any advice on what I should do or how I could possibly fix this, please let me know. If you know anybody I can talk to about this kind of stuff, that'd be great. Because the only option I have right now is replacing it. Again. And that really sucks because the main replacement I'd be able to do is the 2070 NVIDIA graphics card, which is a good graphics card. And it's just as strong as the 5700 XT, but it's technically a downgrade other than ray tracing because it doesn't have the speed and other bells and whistles that come with the newer graphics cards. So I'd be essentially forced to downgrade because of something I can't control, and that really sucks. I'm also looking into actually replacing it and paying the difference for a stronger graphics card. So I'm talking to the people I got the graphics card from in the first place. Shout out to them too, by the way, because they're pretty great. And this is by no means their issues or their problem. They have tried their best to help me with this, even going as far as replace my graphics card, as I said. But, you know, I'm still having issues and everything. And that really sucks. So hopefully maybe I can upgrade instead of just replacing it. But even if that is the best case scenario as I'm seeing it right now, that just means that I'm not going to be able to record or edit for like a month due to this pandemic stuff. And it's probably going to take a while to get that new graphics card. I'll still try to make videos regardless and everything, but they're definitely going to be more difficult. And it's probably just going to be like Half-Life Alex as I'm trying to finish the playthrough on that. But I've been dealing with this stuff on the side and it gets in the way of everything. So, you know, um, I'm really sorry that there isn't a ton of videos coming out, and again, if you can help me in some sort of way, please let me know, because I love making videos, and I love editing. I got super big into this because of the fact that I was inspired by other YouTubers and stuff, and I think it's awesome to be able to actually have an audience that I can entertain and be there for and stuff through these videos. So having my this, and the growth of my channel and my ability to do that being stunted by something that I can't control really just infuriates me. Uh, also, I want to point out one thing before I end this little like rant and all that and for asking help. If you are an individual that does have a 5700 XT and it's working, I'm really happy to hear that. But please don't be one of those people that just tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about as there is much evidence online for you to see about this. So if you are one of those people that are an elitist and believe that I'm just an idiot not knowing what I'm talking about, then I would strongly advise you to please get off your high horse as you don't know what you're talking about and their situation that they're in is completely different. So keep that in mind, okay? But anyways, thank you for listening to this and I hope that I can get some sort of help because I don't want to have to replace it yet again, but it seems like I'm going to have to do that. Uh, thank you for watching this and thank you for listening. Yeah, I don't know how to end this. I just thought I'd make a little bit of a update video about this and stuff. So here, have a little puppy and we'll call it a day. I'll see you around. <laughs>